You ain't done with them pickups yet? Perfection takes time. Look, when you're done, grab that neck, follow me in the garage. Yeah, right. We're gonna call it perfection, but it's really slower than frozen molasses. What's going on, guys and gals? My name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. What's going on, everybody? It's good to see you back. Now, today we're gonna be doing something really cool, cause today I'm gonna show you how I shape the back of a guitar neck. Yeah, I'm gonna show you a few things today, but we're gonna be working in the garage today. We're gonna be working on custom guitars today. Well, custom basses, actually. Eh, custom guitar will be in there, too. What I mean to say is, all you fellow lovers of sucking sawdust, we're about to go out in the garage and get it down. Now, before we get started out here in the garage, for all you tenderonies just now joining in, see that sign? It says, Scar My Guitar. Yeah, if you're one of them guys that's been watching some guy skin a cat, you think that's the only way there is to skin a cat? Well, we don't do that here. We've been over this already. Yep, if you're one of them guys, you probably want to leave now. Go on and click off the video. Spare yourself. Because you can believe me when I tell you, nobody wants to hear you crying about it in the comments at Scar My Guitar. So with all that being said, that's going to be enough lip flapping. Let's make it happen. Now the CNC has already carved this down a little bit. But I would expect you to carve it down this far with some rafts or something before you do what I'm about to do. Now I've got this sanding disc with 80 grit on it. Just goes right on my drill. Now the reason I can probably use this to shape this neck, and yeah, I'm going to use this to shape the neck. The reason I can probably do it is because my grandfather and I used to whittle. Yep, he used to have me whittling all kinds of little figurines and stuff with him out on the front porch. My grandpa Strickland was a good man. Whatever you do, don't forget your PPE, your personal protection equipment. Yeah, that zebra wood looks cool, don't it? Now I got a little 220 here. There you go doing that thing again. What thing again? Two-handed thing. What do you mean? Oh. Using both hands. Yeah. Well, everybody does. At some point, I just do it more. We're gonna use this again with the 80 grit to shape this little bevel up and to clean this headstock up a little bit.
Woo. Man, look at that flame. Dude. But we're going to carve this booger. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this old pencil. Measure with my finger on the side. I'm going to hold it in the same place on the pencil. And I'm just going to trace it around it. And what's that? It's going to do... It's going to give me a basic line of where I want to carve it at. You know what I mean? That's it. That's all it's going to do. Dang, you still in here doing this? Have you learned nothing? <laughs> okay. Looks good. You like to go the machine, don't you? I do. You're doing a good job. Thank you. Thank you for getting off your lazy teeth. Oh, oh. sorry. This is a brand new build, and this is what I like to finish my fretboards with. And the back of the neck as well. And of course the headstock. Now, I'm not really a fan of open back tuners, but I only put what the customer asked for on their guitar. All the parts you see going on here, they sent to me. Woo. Looking pretty good. Let's get to the body. Yeah, you guys have been begging me for the base build. Or to be doing some weird stuff right now. Because <laughs> uh, this is pretty fat. Yeah, we're doing full size CTS in here. Dude, look at the mahogany. Wow. Oh, and the zebra wood. Yeah, the zebra wood's totally awesome. All right, we got some Bartolini's going in. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, huh? No screws. Well, that's stupid.
it is jam time, Jack. Bro, that top is just screaming on this thing. So is that fretboard. <laughs> this whole bass is screaming. Why are you ironing the headstock, Kathy? Don't be silly. You know what I'm doing. I, I don't know what you're doing. This is brand new. Putting scarred on the headstock. Don't be silly. I don't believe it. I gotta see this to believe it. We got laser cutters for this. What are you doing? So it's supposed to say scarred under there now. That's the idea. Alright. Let's see. It does say scarred. Cool. <laughs> Man. Thinking we got us a scarred base. I love this body shape. For those wondering, we call it the Danamite after Dan from Guns and Guitars. But this is 27 and a half inch scale, it's short scale. Let's look at the back. It's just beauty. I haven't cut the back plate yet. It's hollow body, so it's real light. All right, I'm going to play it unplugged. I don't know how it's going to sound, so bass. I don't know, but let's turn it up some. That's the bridge pickup. Let's put it in the middle. Let's try the old neck. Now, I'm not a bass player, but I know a good sounding bass when I hear one. Never hurts to put really nice pickups in your instruments, because that's what makes them sound good. Now look, me and Kathy really much prefer making videos like this. We make a ton of custom guitars, but nobody watches the videos. Now if you are here looking at my ugly mug watching this video, let us know what you thought about it in the comments, and if you want to see more like this. And don't forget, me and Kathy really appreciate you watching, and until I see you again. Don't you touch my scarred bass guitar.